What is going on, guys? Bellboy Brand Investments, it is year number two, episode 18. Last week, we talked about diving into new info. This week, we're going to go ahead and talk about the basics and really autopilot and really what that does for your life. Um, so it's two weeks in a row beating the S&P 500. My portfolio is up 2.5% and the S&P 500 is up 0.4%. My month to date is down 0.7% with the year to date up 61%. So every dollar I put in, I've gotten 61 cents back. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the agenda today the, is the fin tip. We have news, new purchase, free money, dividends, highs and lows, big week in crypto. We have the pick of the week, the recap of the pick of the week from last week. Quote, mindset to really kick us off into next week. And then we have the final thought as well. So for the fin fit tip this week, don't overcomplicate this stuff for yourself. It's easy to dive into the weeds and really listen to some all the intricate stuff, but you don't have to make it that crazy. Um, it can be easy and you don't need to go into depth. So the, for the fin tip of the week this week, um, don't overcomplicate it. Again, basic and having things on autopilot, you're more likely to win that way. Um, for news this week, El Salvador purchased... Um, 200 Bitcoin. So they're the first company to go out publicly and actually purchase Bitcoin. So they might be the first person to step and they might be the first person to trip. And we will see because um, they are buying pretty high when it does come up, come down to it. Um, but if it is a long term thing that everyone's going to adopt eventually, it, it'll definitely be a big win for their country. Um, chip shortage across all the boards, Volkswagen, Ford, um, you name it. If the company is making auto and they're making cars, they're probably experiencing some um, chip shortages. So much to the fact that a lot of companies are going to be bringing that in-house. Uh, so we have a lot of news going on in the auto industry. People talking about smart vehicles are, are really going to be the way of the future, not necessarily just EVs. Um, so that's definitely some conflict with the way that people think it's going right now because obviously EV is the big ticket item when it comes to things um, in the market of, of, of auto. Um, for Disney this week, they have another big box office hit um, with Shang-Chi. They keep on rolling them out at one after another. They did decide to go ahead and stream this one. So that was very interesting that they didn't have the Disney Plus going on because um, I actually looked for it and would have. Um, streamed it if I would have been given the opportunity. So it's interesting that they didn't decide to do that. I think they ran into a little bit of weeds when they came into contracts with their actors. So um, that's really what the big holdup is on that. But I think we'll be looking forward to that in the future again. Uh, I think it'll be big um, opportunity for Disney to be able to make more money, which obviously, in fact, will turn up their stock. Um, Roku is set for a rollout in Germany. It's the second time that they have came out in European um, countries. Um, so they already partner with Amazon, Disney Plus, and Netflix, just to name a couple of their big partnerships. Um, but it's their second rollout in Europe, and I think that that's really going to spread. Um, they're starting on Monday, so that's pretty big for their stock. Um, they've been crushing it on the year-to-year -year basis um, as well. And then Amazon is moving directly into competition with FedEx and UPS. Um, they're, they're already listed as logistics as a service over in the UK, and they're going to start a program over here in the U S where it's going to be coming over here soon. Um, and then the earnings we have this week, um, within the portfolio, Lululemon, I have a tiny bit in GameStop and then FCEL, um, FCEL, I have quite a bit of shares in there. So that'll be uh, big on the portfolio. If we do have a big winner there. For new purchase university, we have Crocs, Square, MasterCard, Visa, Chewy and Apple. Um, I'm not throwing massive amounts into any of these companies, guys. It's just $5, $10, $25 here and there. Uh, but the the big thing is I'm adding to my portfolio long term. It's not about um, that that uh, massive jump or I'm not looking for massive gains. I'm just looking for a small percentage win um, here and there. Uh, for free money this week, Duolingo and then America Innovator was the ETF that I got. So there's two different things that Stash was giving out this week. The link is in the description right here. If you haven't checked it out yet, you should definitely start a Stash portfolio. It costs a dollar a month to have one, and they'll help you really get your uh, long-term investing knowledge on, on track, just like I am. Uh, but then the dividends this week, that paid me um, Visa and then TJ Maxx are the two, two big ones. For highs and lows this week, we have NEO at 5% up, OVV is up 7%, CVE is up 7%, and then CRTD is up 20%. Um, interesting fact about CRTD, it is under $5 right now, and a company that was in talks with someone else that was um, actually on the new company that I work with, um, they were asking if they could have stock in CRTD as part of their 401k, 
We don't recommend doing that in a 401k because we don't have like big stocks like that. Um, but it was definitely interesting that people are really, really hearing about this company and, and, and thinking about it in the long term if they're trying to add it to their portfolio. And then the lows for the week, we have Workhorse down 7%, Alpha E down 6.7%, and then CBD down 8%. Talk about some good news. Crypto was absolutely up this week, obviously with the good news with Bitcoin. Um, they're up 12%. Bitcoin is. Doge is up 14%. ETC is up 19%. ETH, Ethereum is up 22%. And then ADA is up 4%. So our crypto winner of the week this week is ETH, snapping that three-week streak that ADA had running. So good news for crypto. Things are on the up and up. Bitcoin is closer to 100,000 than it is to zero. So that is something huge, especially to all of those Bitcoin bears out there that have wanted to see it fail just from the beginning. Um, we're in the up and up and the things have not looked better for Bitcoin um, yet, to, yet. So I'm excited to see the future. Um, for the pick of the week this week, I think we've had it as a pick of the week before, but we're definitely going to rock with Roku um, on this second rollout. We think that that's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, the last three months, they've been pretty stagnant. Uh, if you look at the charts, they kind of go up and then drop and go up and then drop. Um, they had just dropped. So in the last month, they've been down 13% in the last three months. They've been stagnant in the last year. They're up 120%. So I think that's going to be pretty massive when it comes to having a big rollout either. Um, they're going to see a big win when it comes to long-term gains anyway. With the great partnerships that they do have with all growing parties, they're only going to see massive benefits um, from those. So I think that's big. Partnerships are, are a big way of, of, of having success. You don't do everything yourself. So having partners hold you up or is definitely massive. To recap the pick of the week from last week, Chewy was down 14%. So I am taking an L. We are 43 to 32. Um, so we do have definitely a lot more wins than losses. Um, but the growth was not there when it was expected in the earnings call. If you listen to the earnings call, they did have a massive amount of growth. So I was surprised to see... Um, the stock it hit as hard as it did, like their year to year is absolutely insane. So they did well, um, just not to what was expected. So I'm not too upset about that 14% loss. In fact, on Friday when I noticed that it was going to be a big loss, I ended up buying more because that's what I do. I buy the dip when it goes down and I believe in it. Something I use, this is something I believe in and for a long-term win. So Chewy, Chewy got more of my money um, with the dip going down 14%. For the quote of the week this week, again, we're talking about basics and going on autopilot. Um, going back to the basics strengthens your foundation. And that one's anonymous. I, I didn't look too deeply into it. I'm sure that that one has a tagline by somebody. Uh, but going back to the basics strengthens your foundation. And I think that's just so true. Um, when you go down to your core values or you go down to anything that you truly are you, um, whether it's the five separate categories you put yourself into or the categories that people put you into, um, it's, it's important to have those basic traits that really stand out and they stand true to everything you do in life because it really comes back to that. So the mindset of the week, as I'm moving into this new role, my investing is kind of going to be on um, autopilot. Um, and I think that's where the basics are going to be key. Um, this stuff, uh, like I know it. So being able to put it on the back burner and let things operate as they're supposed to and me not focus too much, we'll be able to see that constant gain um, and we'll be able to really kick ourselves off into the next week. So for the final thought, it never hurts to ask questions and get answers. And I'm going to be doing a ton of that as I'm introducing into this new role. I'm going to be reaching out to the leaders that are already on the team, finding out what they're doing, how I can copulate it, emulate it, make it mine. So that way I can go out there and just be as aggressive as I possibly can. Uh, so Tuesday at 8 p.m., we are actually talking about who should be in your circle. And I see my circles right here, right now. So that does pump me up. Every 8 p.m., we go out and we're talking about success. We're talking about networking and building. So shout out to the boys for being here and being present. And then the Robin Hood link is going to be down there in the comments. If you haven't started um, investing yet, you should go ahead, hop on that free money. Nobody else is giving you free money just to start investing and start playing with theirs. So it does make sense to hop on any free opportunity that you possibly can. That's the only reason why I ended up taking the new job that I did is because I hopped on a conversation with someone just to see if they had any value there. Boom, it was there and I was able to take advantage of that. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll be back next week with Bellboy Brand Investments and we'll be making money in the meantime.